Hi, this is a quick video of how the Amazon Echo can turn off and turn on the gas fireplace. Alexa, turn off the fireplace. Okay. Alexa, turn on the fireplace. Okay. And here's how you do it. Here's all the supplies we'll need for our Alexa controlled fireplace. I'll have a link in the description to all these things on Amazon. So it's easy to find and make sure you get the right things. First we have our Node MCU. This is a Arduino based little microcontroller. It has built in Wi-Fi, uh, powered and programmed with a micro USB cable very easy to set up, very easy to use. Next we have our 5 volt relay. This is what will switch the starter on the fireplace off and on. We'll have our three connections there and then these little screw terminals uh, go out to the fireplace. Um, next we'll have our 170 point uh, breadboard. This is not absolutely required, but it makes it very easy and you can connect all these components without doing any, any uh, soldering. We'll also need this uh, jumper wire with the male and female ends. Again, we need that so we don't, do any, don't have to do any soldering. You'll need um, a little bit of scrap wire. I use the stranded stuff so I can kind of bend it into place. I'm sorry, I use the solid stuff so I can bend it into place, but if you have stranded laying around, that's fine. We'll also need a regular five volt USB power supply. You probably have a few of these laying around the house to charge your phones and other items. And then we'll need our micro USB cable. Uh, these are the kind, you know, typically used to charge a, a lot of Android phones. You probably have a few of these laying around the house as well. For assembly, this is pretty easy. Uh, the first thing we need to do is put the Node MCU uh, onto this little breadboard. And what you want to do is have all these pins line up in these little holes. And there's just enough to leave a full row on both sides where we'll plug in our jumper wires and then leave one hole on each side on, on the right side here and then one hole on the left side here. So you have one row of solid holes all the way around this thing. And then just push down firmly and it should be held in place. Uh, next, we'll want to connect our jumper wires to this. And we only need three wires. So we need a power, we need a ground, and we need, need signal. Um, <clears throat> not quite sure if you can see it in the video here, but each of these pins are labeled. Um, for power, we're going to use uh, VIN or voltage in, and that'll be our regulated 5 volts coming from the power supply. We will make that one white. Choose the white one and just plug it in right next to the VIN. Um, next is ground. We'll go ahead and make this black one be ground and just a few pins over says GND. You can plug that one in right next to ground. And then our code will tell us that pin D1 will control the relay. And D1 is right here. So plug that in next to D1, and then that part is ready to go. The other end of those jumper wires will plug into our 5 volt relay here. Uh, we have three pins on this relay. Um, there's some, some markings right underneath the contacts there. We have our negative, our positive, and our signal. So our ground which is the black one, will go to the negative. Our white 
which was our 5 volts, will go to the positive. And our gray, which is coming from our D1 signal pin, will go to the S, assuming that stands for signal. All right, that's our complete setup. <clears throat> Here's some of the items we'll need for the uh, software part of our fireplace project. Uh, first of all, I want to give credit to this video on YouTube. This is what got me started, and I used most of the code from this project. First, you will need the Arduino IDE. Head over to the Arduino page to download it for your platform. After that, you'll need to do a couple small things to set it up so that we can uh, flash our code to it. Follow along in the section under Installing with Boards Manager here. And then last, you'll need to download the USB driver uh, for your little Node MCU chip. The only changes you should need to make to this script are these three lines right here. This is where you enter your uh, Wi-Fi settings. You'll put the name of your Wi-Fi network here. You'll put your Wi-Fi password here. And whatever you want to refer to your fireplace as um, in a, in, to Alexa, you'll put here. In my case, it's Office Fireplace. Plug in your USB cable to your computer and then hit upload. It'll compile. and upload. Open your serial monitor. Reset your node MCU by pushing the little reset button. You'll see it connect to Wi-Fi, got an IP address, so you know everything's good. The next thing we need to do is have Alexa, discover devices. Starting discovery. This will take up to 20 seconds. If you haven't already, please enable the smart home skill for your smart device from the Alexa app. I found one new plug called outside fireplace. To control it, say, turn off outside fireplace. Now that the Echo has discovered our new device, we can control it. When we control it, you'll be able to hear this relay click off and on, and also you'll see a small LED light up. Alexa, turn on the outside fireplace. Okay. Alexa, turn off the outside fireplace. Okay. Before we install this, let's make sure we know which contacts on the relay are open or closed when we turn it off or on. Get your multimeter and put it in continuity mode. So when we have a closed contact, it beeps like this. On this relay, these two contacts are closed when the relay is off. These two contacts are closed when the relay is on, so it should not beep now because it's currently off. Alexa, turn on the outside fireplace. Okay. Alexa, turn off the outside fireplace. Okay. So we'll want to hook our fireplace wires up to these two contacts. My fireplace is controlled by this switch on the right that's right next to it. I took off the cover plate and saw the two small DC wires hooked up to the switch. There was a red one and a white one. I followed that down to under the fireplace, found out where they came out from the wall to this small red one and white one. Make 100% sure this is not your 120 volt AC line. It should not be. This is a small 
gauge wire that then goes into this fireplace control unit right here. Simply unplug these two wires from the switch and then plug these two into the two little spade connectors that go into your relay. So let's disconnect the wall switch from our control unit. And then we'll plug in the spade connectors going into our relay. It does not matter the order of these, which one plugs into which. We won't use those anymore. Make sure that your contacts are isolated and not getting shorted out on the fireplace. Alexa, turn on the fireplace. Okay. And there we have it, it works. If you have any questions, leave them in the comments below. Alexa, turn off the fireplace. Okay.